Welcome back. Now, as it happened, so one pastor, when did they call Femi Lazarus? <laughs> one pastor, you don't, you don't come out, come blast. All these uh, pastors will be say, <laughs> they, they carry matter, they turn upside down. You know, I know say this country, when did they call Nigeria now, you don't fail. Pata, pata. <laughs> I will give an example of the people when they refer to. You know, say people know they mention them, but uh, by the grace of God, <laughs> by the auction of God, the 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 baptism where they don't give me the power I have been bestowed upon. The power where they don't bestow on me. <laughs> they don't give me power now to the <laughs> at least if they give in proverbs, proverbs, who na no fee explain. Go come out can explain them to na. Now the family Lazarus, now be this man who now they see here. So I mean, well done, sir. Welcome. Eh, uh -huh. he don't call out all the people where be say that they support this government. We don't fail. Now, for example, <laughs> on and go remember our daddy Gio where they call Pastor E A Adeboye when they come out, come talk say, in fact, uh, waiting the war in this country. Say no be ordinary something, no be human solution go cure him. Say he need spiritual solution. Make I first start with um, the pastor with the call Femi Lazarus. The statement when he make, we make me come bringing the remember pastor Adebo, he put on here, okay? <laughs> This is 2024. That's all they use us, they play joke, they play gamble, they play ludo. You don't see say country, don't fail. Instead of for now to the talk through, on a go go there, they, 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 ooh, 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 they go, they give on a money, on a go, they talk, say, no, it is a um, spiritual problem, it is not a uh, whole something human beings can solve. You see how they lie. No, on a still come and come tell us, say, on a they drink tea with God, only in Nigeria. Pua! Now, waiting you know, on the black, they talk, say, oh, all these people, where they blast pastors for internet, to one is senior, your papa, to na pastor, this one. Everybody calling themselves. Those of whom I never see by uh, Femi Lazarus. So, most truly, How do you know that somebody stole his way to power and you still came out as a man of God and said God gave him the power? Can we also agree as a pastor, sir, that if somebody collected your wife now, God gave him? No, it must be two plus. It must be balanced. We must balance this equation. Somebody stole the commonwealth of a nation. You said God put him there. How will God bring a person to the right place with the wrong method? That God is a scam. Nonsense. And then you now, no, pastor that is saying that, please allow your member to collect your wife and let it be God giving the member. Hmm. That is the balance. No, it must be, ba it must be balanced. You cannot snatch the entire nation through fraudulent means and say God gave him. We must check our doctrine and theology. If we don't, we will lose a generation, no? If we don't, I am crying and I'm begging now. Let's change this nonsense. Are we supposed to pray for kings, for men in authority? Oh, yes. It is our duty as church. But tell a thief you are a thief. Repent and change from your evil ways now. We must never build a church that is Bible. Hmm. No. We must not to tell people to hell with that height. Listen. The generation of our fathers is a generation of people who somehow because of their exposure have very high regard for anything the clergy says. There is a new generation who are thinking and they are well read. You can call them rude. They are a combatant generation. And listen, they are going to win. Yes. Because that generation will do what everyone else has not done. Yes, it is either we understand that generation now or lose them. Yes, listen, let me tell you something. Let me tell you. Do we need answers? There was a story of this woman called Aisha Yeshufut who lifted her hands in an hijab. And somebody said, this is the new statue of liberty in the new Nigeria. Some Christians were saying, no, no, with the hijab. This, I said, shut up. If the one with the hijab is the one who is bold to go there, put her there. Now, you get what you pay the price for. Can there be Christian nation builders? Yes. This lie and this heretic teaching that once you are a Christian, you must wear the oath of silence. It will kill you and kill the nation. We have a role to play. We can't swear the oath of silence and cry while the nation is bad. Participate, sir. Yes, be a part of it yes, 
Don't wait till another four years, then start praying. Go to queue him. I'm telling you. Don't take what I'm telling you for it. Sometimes I look at Nigeria, I feel we are not ready. You cannot collect a nation on election day. Election day was compromised because you were compromised. Don't you have uncles in Ainek? Didn't they give you money and you collected? Is that money their salary? Where is it coming from? When corruption favors us, we call it favor and grace. But when it does not favor, we call it oppression. Who are those who they can buy their votes with 1,000 naira? They are the widows and the poor who you have neglected. If we go back to those grassroots, nobody will be viable to educate and to help. Do you understand what I'm saying? I think I'm in the wrong place. I'm just, I'm just, I'm telling you fact. You look at somebody's track record. You see, listen now. I don't understand how we understand this about marriage. That if somebody, please get my word in context, is a goat. You put suit on the goat on wedding day and say goat, you are marrying. Say you are married to the man. You do the man. This is your wife, man. The wife now say, in the name of Jesus, change him, change him. Holy Ghost, fire, man. You took a goat to a polling booth and say, now that you have one, change now, receive grace. Man. Love this nation. Do change it. Man. Four years. Man. Another four years. Come and do the same thing. Man. Then you now know. You now have a queue of goats. <laughs> Bleating. Man. Man. I'm the next. I'm the next. What will you do? Change now. Fire. Man. It is the tale of when God can reason more than people who are in their right minds. You want to change the nation? We pray. Okay? Very, very important. Because sometimes we must understand these things are also spiritual. But there are physical principles that must not be what? Neglected. See, Nigeria is failing. We must understand the principle. When you take tips there, and now say, okay. Well, I don't see Abi. You will regain your gift here. Where for you? Family Lazarus, God will bless you, sir. Well done, sir. God will bless you. We receive it in the court truth. So if if I say, Pastor, now they can't connect your wife, you go still talk saying, and God, now they run out for you. But I they put that they boy here. You want to go remember, say, come out a few days back, come tell us, say, hmm. This country, as he visit them for the northern part of the country, he can't tell us, say, this country, what thing they do, huh? no be ordinary something, no say, no spiritual problem, say, Tinubu, they try. Tinubu, they try. First way, and he never go and touch it. He don't remove subsidy. Now, they are our problem, they start. Till today, we are facing it. Don't have they climb, bam, bam, they go up, they go up. I don't know where they go. So, those of us, whenever I see we are, Pastor Adeboye, <laughs> uh, when they talk and say, um, what did they call him? Talk and say, this country deserves a spiritual solution. Say, no, be human being will suffer. Now, these people, put Adeboye, or can they look me like that? I don't come here for peace. Now, these people, they exonerate politicians. The time when we go to do revolution, where we say, you go awaken our criminal politicians, make them do the right thing. Pastors go they tell their members. In fact, he gave many, many articles on this pastor when I go show. He go they tell their members, say, no, you know, it's not like that. God will do it in the mighty name of Jesus. I still there here. <laughs> I don't turn AI. <laughs> we are the speaking tongues. Now waiting the day they deceive us for this country. Speaking in tongues. So I go say, oh, he's filled with the spirit. But we we go they talk to you, the reality. Now we be bad people. But those people we don't get a, a white color for black lot or purple um 
uh, color or this thing for cloth, uh, hand at them, fear them, <laughs> touch not the anointed. Me, I'm anointed, I will soon start pastor work, but then uh, my eyes go to those of them that we never see them winning, they talk, no, they look me like that. We must try. Pastor Debuye is a Kaduna for a crusade organized by the redeemed Christian Church of God, tagged Light Up Kaduna. <laughs> Man of God uses the opportunity to visit the Kaduna State Governor, Senator Ubasani, at Sir Kashim Ibrahim Government House, accompanied by senior members of the church. <laughs> Top on the agenda of Pastor Dewey's visit to the Governor is the lingering insecurity situation in Kaduna and other parts of the country, which he believes is beyond human solution alone. The cleric, however, says Nigeria will soon overcome them. The Lord says, Except they not visit the house, those who have been there are laboring in the day. The religious leader also prays for the peace of Kaduna State and the nation at large. We as a country are blessed. We are blessed with people, with great intelligence. We are blessed with all manners of resources. And yet we have so many problems. And it's not as if the people in authority are not trying their best. They are, they are doing as much as humanly possible. And I will find that when you have problems that are beyond humans' ability to solve, then you call on the Almighty. The reason we call him the Almighty is because he has the power to solve all problems. Governor Sani appreciates the cleric for what he describes as his continuous fatherly and spiritual interventions in the country's well-being, assuring him that the present administration is determined to address all the challenges facing the country. Many Nigerians are this on our and they are also been very cautious about the future. But like I said, in my own conversation with you before this meeting, Given the persistent security and economic challenges, residents of the nation call out almost on a daily basis, only for resolutions that will allow them to live in peace. You don't see Abi. <laughs> you don't see Pastor Debo when they talk him. You go shock you, Abi. <laughs> ah, Chineke Mera Mebe. A matter never finish you, Pastor. Adebo a matter. He never finish. Now the same man come and come tell us, say, hmm, in drink tea with God. Say him and his wife, they drink tea. Some of them don't forget. As they sit down like this, they drink tea. And so the tea, they reduce. Come reduce, they come, they come. Five cups of tea. His wife drink two, him drink two. One cup can disappear, which means God. When they come ask, the God come tell and say, Shebi, you called me to come and eat when you were praying. <laughs> Only in Nigeria. And Nigeria is in that terrible state now when he did say. Nigeria is in that state. You do more to go complain about me now because those are when they complain. They say they type. This one, when they knock you here, now you go, you go. That one, you won't go touch your demo. Those of them that we never see when they drink tea with God. Most truly. I was in Ilan years ago. We were having breakfast. And we, we have a pot in which we make tea. I think, if I remember correctly, there are five cups in that pot. My wife and I, usually is the one who will finish his first two cups, who will get the final one. <laughs> so I took one cup, she took one. I took one, she took one. And I picked the, the pot to take the third one and the pot was empty uh, I looked at her I couldn't remember when she took the third one <laughs> what happened to my tea and I heard the voice of the Lord 
you don't have to believe me, all right? Loud and clear. I said, son, when you prayed, you invited me to join you. Ah. <laughs> Some of you don't know why I call him daddy. We have a relationship that is difficult to describe. And this is a very special anniversary. My daddy is here. He is here to celebrate with us. Prayers prayed tonight will be answered by fire. I want you to write down quickly your prayer points. Clap for him. Away. Well done, sir. So, people get this uh, level of uh, communication with God, and we are suffering like this. Then they drink tea with God, then they run businesses with God, and we are suffering in Nigeria. Matter never finish. He still pray another prayer because he get prayer when he prayed before. Say all the uh, um, their colleagues for anywhere for workplace go they beg people for food. All the members for church that one cause uproar that time. And so they run. Epic go delete the tweet. And so he still pray for Israel. Go still delete the tweet. This time around now, he say all the members of other churches. <laughs> They will come they bow to all the members of Redeemed Church. Okay, if you don't confuse, eh? Buna, Buna just rest. As an old man, just you people just should rest. Because that same Bible, Buna, they quote for us. Oh, Bible said that you should respect the elders. Don't talk to them anyhow. Don't insult them. The same Bible said, elders, do not talk to your children anyhow. But they know they read the good outside, though. Now, they go they cause we think we make do not provoke your children. Now then go they provoke us. Now I don't talk, I don't pray another negative prayer. Now say all the other members of the church and the people where they shout, hey, yeah, they are hungry, they are thirsty, they never see money chop or anything. Those of one we never see and when they drum that prayer, must try. Friends on Elisha, and they came to meet him and bowed themselves to the ground before him. I decree in the name that's above every other name, Christians from every other denomination will bow before you. I don't have all the time. <laughs> Only you, only you in a series of wala. Now they say, Pastor Deboye, it's a shameful something. You now, Tinubuna, where they, where they carry placard, they protest under good luck, Jonathan. Now you know feel talk, you know feel they blast Tinubu. Rather, you don't come out now, come change and say, that spiritual problem, now they worry the country. During the time of uh, Jonathan, no be spiritual problem, na na physical problem. <laughs> So the problem don't upgrade and that spiritual. Ah, the man now come the girl. She still talk say now. Ah, the man of God do and he don't hold. Why he go now come be a small boy? He don't know the things of the spirit that he now. Oh, yeah. oh, come up for there. You won't, you won't run. I know you can't get me more now. Now here now come to see how country don't sour now. Everybody they complain hunger day everywhere and now Yoruba people they complain pass. You did there instead of him to talk to the president and say, do things right. Only in Nigeria, now you go to see, say, people go to, go to use God as excuse for their failures. Nonsense. I bet we'll go another news. 